Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here, and welcome to episode 79 of Let's FIFA 13. I'm sorry not for uploading yesterday, but at the moment I do not have the time to upload every single day because for once I'm working on the goals compilation and then I got a lot of exams in the start of January which I have to get ready for. So until all of that is over, I will try and have them up every second day. Maybe a few days I'll have them up daily, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Now moving on to the gameplay, I managed to pick up a penalty here early in the game and it is Kabai who steps up for that and he will convert it to to make it 1-0 and only two minutes later we are into the box again this time around with a Ben Arthur doing some nice work and he picks up another penalty and goodbye he will step up for it once again but this time around it is saved and it goes out for a corner but no worries because straight from the corner we find a Jatson almost a sitting bicycle kick there to make it a 2-0 so a very good start to the game and we then get into the 81st minute where we can't catch Emenike and we, he will make it a 2-1 and that is pretty much how the game ends so we are through to the semi-finals of the gold cup looking pretty good uh, and we keep on going with that a winning streak which is pretty nice uh, we decide to go with the silver side the 4-4-3 side and we come up against a team which is not a too bad a nice La Liga side there with some pretty good players in it but I will get the game started from a corner in the 8th minute by still kick once again and that will make it 1-0 but he will push back some clumsy work here in the box and in the end it is Xavi Alonso to make it a 1-1 but we couldn't have that so we'll score try and score a goal straight from kickoff nice stuff here we'll find or take a through on goal you'll take out the keeper and it's a 2-1 a really nice goal there and that will most likely go into the compilation or at least be one of the contenders Tenders for being in the compilation a pretty nice goal and we will we will get a third goal as well not the best of goals but it is always nice to have that a two goal cushion a cushion to to make sure he doesn't get it back into the game but after that he decides to pass it around the back for the last 15 minutes of the game quite frustrating and in the end I just gave up chasing it so uh, that is pretty much how the game will end a 3-1 to me and I'm through to the final uh, so that is the next game we will play and that will prove to be a very 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 sweaty game uh, because this guy also wanted to win the final and uh, he have a pretty nice Serie A side here with a bit of pace on the top and on the wings. Uh, and we will get the game started in the 11th minute, throw it out, out a nice dummy by Quintero and no one can catch him. He is a through on goal and he will make his way into the box. We get a shot in and get a very lucky here on the rebound with a Dani Dino to make it 1-0 but he will push back in the 22nd minute with Alexandro Pato and that is a 2-2 uh, and I felt the pressure in this game so I decided to take one of the easy goals there with Junior Cesar running to the back line cross it in and I had a by Quintero that is a 2-1 and then he got through in the 85th minute and he tries to pass it across luckily I managed to pick it up so no goal that time around but then in the 80th minute some clumsy work in the box and it's 2-2 and you see the full time stats pretty even the shots I had a bit more possession but apart from that it was a pretty even game and he tries again to pass the cross goal and this time around I pick up a free kick because I guess he pushed my player a little bit too much and I tried to get a goal as well in extra time, but I couldn't get it. So what it means is we go into penalties and he shoots his first one over the goal. Uh, and I thought he probably can't take penalties and that was the case. He misses the second one and I just kept standing in the middle. I saved the third one, uh, but he will save mine as well. But luckily he will sky his last shot over the goal. And that means I win the final and I'm through uh, uh, to start the cup again, I suppose. And I win the 2000 coins, which is not too bad. So uh, I believe this is the third time I won the cup without losing, which I'm pretty happy about. Then we go into the round of 16th, uh, going with the 4-4-2 silver side. And we come up against a team which isn't completely done. But you can see all of the other goal players are in the right position and formation. So that gave me, a, gave me an idea that he pretty much knew how to play the game. I do get a chance here in the third minute, but the keeper will save it. And then in the 35th minute, I do some skill moves. And uh, I did that earlier in the game as well. And he picks up his second yellow card for that. Uh, a pretty odd unlucky sending off there. But Moreno is out. But it's not before the 85th minute. I create another chance to get a goal there to win the game. And I create another chance with Mani Arti's body goes over the goal. So a game where I didn't really create that many chances. Uh, and it ends 1-0. But I'm through to the quarterfinals, which is the last game of this episode. And we go with the 4-4-2 silver side. And they will come up against a team which is 
which is uh, not too bad. There a nice Premier League side there with Young and uh, a lot of good players in it, and he would get the game started with Young. I got quite surprised he did some of the skill moves there and some nice stuff there to make his way into the box. And I get very lucky that my keeper will save that one, and I get my first really entertaining chance. I guess in the 45th minute, nothing comes of it, and I get another chance here with a fed for series making his way into the box, and it is Elton picking the ball up, making his way into the box and takes a shot, but it is a block with a nice slide tackle. So we go into the second half before I actually managed to get a proper goal. And this fed with Cedis on the ball, not really sure what to do, and I will cross it in to find Elton, who does a diving header to make it 1-0, and that is how the game will end, and that is how this episode ends. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, I'll try and have one out uh, on the 29th, uh, and that's all. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later.